database specialists, how do they put things together, how are they formatting things from an IT perspective, possibly specialists in, in order to value different types of assets such as real estate, such as different types of inventory or something like that. We need to make sure that we have those specialists that will be needed for those particular areas. Identify any related parties. So are there related parties to this entity? We know that if there are related parties, then they have transactions between the related parties. We can't rely on the market forces to be guiding what we expect from those transactions. And therefore we need to know who the related parties are, what type of transactions you have with them, and then how you're recording those transactions. Are they recorded in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles as they apply to related parties? Evaluate additional value added services and document overall audit strategy, audit plan, and prepare audit program. So once we have all this, of course, then we're going to put together and document the strategy we're putting together, the plan we're putting together. We want to do that for a couple different reasons. One, we want to make sure the plan is put together so that we can then follow it. We can delegate out to the rest of the people that will be involved in the audit, what that plan will be, and then execute. And then, of course, we also want to know this because it's part of the documentation for the audit. If we were to have some review of the audit or to look at our process that we have done either ourselves or by some review body, we want to be able to show, hey, this is our strategy. This is our plan. Here's the documentation for it. And here's us moving forward with it. Assess business risk to understand the entity and its environment. So we want to assess the business risk and we want to understand the entity and the environment. Now, as we get into risk, note what we're doing. We're looking at the planning process here. We're trying to set up the audit. We're trying to say and ultimately say what types of testing do we need? How much testing do we need? And in order to do that, we have to think about these ideas of risk. So we're going to say, what are the risk factors? And the risk factors will help us determine how to set up the audit, how much.